what's up everybody. Uh, recovery refrigerant on this uh, Goodman heat pump. The task for the day is to replace the outdoor piston and the bi-flow dryer. So that's what we got going on today. Right now we are recovering the refrigerant and I'll take you through the steps. All right guys, that's the outdoor piston. Now when you uh, go to take that off, make sure you have two adjustable wrenches just so you don't have anything torqued. But you want to get, um, it's going to be hard for me to record it, so I'm just showing you what I'm doing before I do it. But that's what we're going off, and then we're going to replace that dryer. So here we go. And on this piston, when refrigerant goes through the hole, it's being metered in heat pump mode. And when it comes back on the perimeter, it's not being metered. So on a heat pump, you have two pistons, one at the outdoor unit, one at the indoor unit. So because we're placing the piston on the outdoor unit, that's for when the unit's operating in heat pump mode. So the refrigerant is coming down through that hole, which is gonna be metered, and then going through the uh, outdoor coil, which in heat pump mode would be the evaporator coil. So that's the difference. Once it goes through that hole, it's being metered. And then when it comes back, depending on the flow of refrigerant, it will go, it will bypass the hole and go on the outside. All right, guys, I got the first part next, the bottom part. This is gonna be a lot more difficult, but I'm gonna heat that up and then use my channel locks to uh, remove the filter. Now, guys, I went ahead and cut the piece. I have some couplings. Make sure you do clean up the uh, copper with sandpaper and you do deburr the uh, interior there. Just make sure you clean it up as well as you can before you begin uh, soldering. All right, guys, I got my nitrogen set up. The nitrogen is gonna leave the tank, go through my hose, through the red side, which is the liquid side. And if you see that liquid line, it's gonna go right to where uh, I have everything in place. It's gonna go through, come back out the suction, and then out here. So here we go. All right, guys, I finished the soldering. Next, I, uh, I'm pressurizing the system. I'm gonna leave it at 100 uh, PSI, see how it holds, and I'm gonna have to go, over it, go over it with some bubbles. And to be honest with you guys, it's not the prettiest but uh, it is a vertical one, but uh, we're gonna make sure there's no bubbles and make sure it holds pressure. But uh, you know, um, I'm still still learning guys, but yeah, that's how it goes. But uh, on to the next. Got the new dryer installed, did it right outside the unit. 